Hello everyone, I'm very excited to share with you a powerful, powerful new feature from ChatGPT, and that is the study mode. This is something that a lot of us in academia have been waiting for. So this is really a grandiose moment here where ChatGPT, OpenAI has delivered and there is now a study mode. What does this mean? Well, there's a very short video that just came out from OpenAI that explains it. Uh, but if you go to their actual website, and here's a URL for it, you can see that it really explains it much more. And it's something that's really powerful in what we've been wanting in academia, meaning that it is an AI that will help students learn. And it won't just give them the answer. Now, of course, yes, they can always use a regular AI, but that, that genie is out of the bottle. The big power here is that this is something that we can direct students to, that we can tell them, hey, I want to see a screen capture, I want to see screen recording, this type of thing, so that now this can help them to go through a process by using the AI, getting proper AI skill development, and really being able to learn with the AI in a multiple of different ways. So this is something that just got released by OpenAI, by ChatGPT, and they're, they, they state here that they are actively working to help to address the need from education, the need from academia, and wanting the AI to have tools that will help specifically with the teaching and learning process. So that's really powerful in itself. Now, as far as how this is put together, this isn't a new AI, this isn't a, a new model or anything. This is the current model being used by ChatGPT, but this has very specific instructions. So now when you simply go in to the ChatGPT interface, you simply go through and then select that you want to use the study mode. So this is a, an additional tool there that's there freely available. The only thing is that you do have to be logged in. This won't work if you're just using it without actually signing in to AI, to ChatGPT. But this is definitely freely available. So that's why I'm very excited for this and that is completely available to anyone for any subscription. Even if you're not a paid subscriber, this is still freely available. I just tested it and it works great. So some of the key features here is that, yes, this is interactive prompts. There's scaffolding associated with this. This makes everything so much more personalized. And this has the ability to do additional things like quizzes and open-ended questions because it's trying to help you learn as you go through it. So that's really interesting as well in that when you pose a question to it, regardless of how you're posing it, it's going to go through and act as a tutor, meaning that it's not simply going to give you the answer. It's going to use some of the Socratic methods, some reflection type questions to get you to come up with the answers. It will help you and guide you and explain subcomponents to you, but it's not simply going to do all the work for you. So in this case, it is actively working like a tutor, which is exactly what we want in academia. And now this can help to facilitate this. Now, of course, you could be using regular ChatGPT in this way, but this makes it so much easier because this is designed, the, the background instructions are already set so that it will go through and do it for you. Now, again, going through their, their website, they have some simple examples here of getting started going through this asking math questions and how it goes through and breaks things down step by step and is asking you questions as far as what to think so that you can come up with the answer as you go through it and then it'll explain it to you along the way. So very powerful here. Um, I went through and I did my own test. So here is what I did. I went through and I asked it something simple just to see how it would react. I said, hey, please write a one page essay for me dealing with democracy in the country of Armenia. I need it for my freshman seminar class at the university. So if I use this type of question, this type of prompt within regular ChatGPT, it will simply instantly go through and write it all out for me, right? But of course we don't want that. And this functions as a nice tutor in that it says, okay, well, let's walk through this step by step. I'll help you with this, but I'm not gonna write it for you, right? I'll guide you in developing a clear argument and structure. And then it poses the question first, what do you already know about democracy in Armenia? And then it asks some individual questions there. And then it's going through and trying to prompt you to come up with different aspects so that you can go through and write this out. And then it also came up with a, this outline. And I thought, oh, well, it's already writing an outline for, for me. But 
it is structuring this outline so that it's still asking you questions in order for you to write in these parts for your outline. So in the introduction here, it says, hey, you should define democracy in your own words. You see how it didn't define it for me. It's saying this is what you need to be doing. And then it's also saying, oh, you should also briefly state how Armenia's democracy journal journey has evolved since its independence in 1991. Very powerful, very cool way that it's breaking things down. So it's giving me a skeleton of a possible outline, but it's still posing questions to me and guiding me along the way. So that's really powerful as far as what it's doing to help the student along and not just simply give the answer. So uh, again, this is something that, that's great that's been asked for in academia. Back on the website here, it talks about the limitations and what's next. So this is saying that, hey, this isn't a perfect model. They're specifically saying right now that, hey, this is specific instructions and we're learning as we're going along, but a future model will integrate this understanding of using it as this type of tutor as a study mode component. So they're, they're already talking about future models being more powerful to be able to do this because this is sort of built into its overall capabilities to begin with. Whereas right now it's simply additional instructions that's given to the model. And they're also talking about helpful things uh, coming in the future, such as clear visualizations for complex or text heavy concepts. That would be very interesting. Goal setting and progress tracking for across conversations, deeper personalization tailored to each student's skill level and goals. Very powerful stuff. And then it talks some more about what they're actively trying to do at OpenAI in order to be more centered towards education to help people uh, develop. And they're focused primarily, they said, on university students. Um, it, within this text, it talks about how this is structured mainly towards them. But this is definitely functional for K through 12 as well, because this is functioning as a nice tutor to help the student learn as opposed to just give all the answers. So this is, to me, when I saw this, it, it very much felt like what Khan Academy is trying to do, right? And they're structuring it very nicely. This is basically Khan Academy with a little bit less of a wall garden, but this still can function very much as far as an effective way to help students develop. So now this is a great tool that we can now direct students to use as opposed to the regular version of ChatGPT. This would be a more structured way for them to use it as an assistive tool, as a tutor to help them in the learning process as opposed to just giving them the answers. Now, I say that, but we have to ensure that we are still always, always pushing AI literacy. They still need to develop those key concepts. They still need to understand the importance of the awareness of their capabilities as well as knowledge and critical thinking. That never goes away. They still need to know that even though they're going through this tutor, the answers might not be perfect. They still need to verify. They still need to check. They still need to continue to develop their comprehension as far as how AI works so that they can develop prompt engineering skills and they can use it in many different ways. Using it as a tool for studying is perfect. That's one aspect, one mechanism, one way to use the AI. They still need to be aware of other aspects, of other implementations, and how to use AI in its many different forms. So AI literacy is still extremely important, but this is awesome that we now have a study mode. Very interested in your ideas, your thoughts. Please share them in the comments. I read every single one of them. I want to know your thoughts on this in that I think this can be very, very helpful for all levels of education and beyond, meaning that this is uh, adult learners can definitely learn from this as we all continue to develop and improve ourselves. So thank you very much for your time. Please like and share so that we can continue to grow this channel. And remember, learning is for life. Thank you everyone i appreciate you watching this video remember to share this with all your friends so that we can continue to develop our overall community and also know that we have books available as well as online courses that helps to support this channel as well thank you very much